so hi guys welcome back to our channel more like our channel now because i keep showing my daughter's hair and you're more than welcome this is golden roots and i am a carry i am here to show you guys how the locks are looking now we're in the ninth month but there'll be a separate video on showing how the locks are looking at nine months because i have to interlock the hair and also show you guys the state of it so this is just normal locks when they're dry and freezy and i'll just zoom out a bit just to show you guys how they look when hopefully we can focus on the locks when they haven't been attended to so this is how they are and i am doing an apple cider vinegar rinse and we're using by carbonate soda as well because i just felt that with the spray that we've been using um there have been a lot of, uh, not a lot, but there's been some kind of product built up from when it started. And I feel that apple cider vinegar rinse is something important, especially when there's braids involved. There's these gaps from the braids that, you know, might just keep in the product. I'm trying to show you guys a close up so that you can see how that is. All right. So I'm hoping that this will help clean the lock uh the braid entirely since it's not a lock yet but i hope you get what i mean i'm trying to get another one to show you guys <clears throat> yeah here is another one um we'll try to focus on that so you can see some parts have like some white build up whatnot and i'm not saying that this is just probably just some dirt and just whatever spray i've been using oil and whatnot but I noticed that there was this kind of build up. I can't say it's lint, but maybe it is. But I just wanted to see if this apple uh, cider vinegar rinse will help clean the locks. And this is the purpose of this video. And from here you can tell this something like that. So we're just trying to work with cleaning the locks other than just shampooing them entirely. And I just thought I'd come and update you guys on how the locks look on just an ordinary day. I've come in here to come and do it when they were not uh, retwisted. So this is just before a retwist. Uh, it's been, I think, just over a month since I last did the last one. And um, I just wanted to clean the locks. And then our next video is probably going to be a nine-month update. And I can't wait to show you guys. This is kind of an update on how they look when they haven't been retwisted but i thought we share so let's get into the video because i am rambling if you're new to our channel remember to subscribe and thumbs up this video and if you're already subscribed remember to thumbs up so let's jump into the video So this is our first time using this pump up sink we had seen in other videos that this is what people are using <clears throat> I got this on Amazon I'll leave a link down below in case you're looking for one and then it comes with a draining pipe it's quite handy and this also supports your neck right here Alright, so here we're trying to place her head properly into the little washing sink and it was kind of hard to try and <clears throat> balance her properly comfortably because of her neck and she's it's a kid so her head is smaller um, for an adult I'm sure it can fit better than this so eventually we got it and then I just had to kind of fix her hair from the back.
apple cider vinegar. Oh. It actually smells nice. It does. So, I'm not sure if you can see, this is how the water looked like close up and we kept her hair soaked for about 20 minutes and it's quite cloudy. So, <clears throat> I really feel like it's kind of helped in uh, cleaning up her hair and making sure that the locks are not keeping any product built up. So, I would really recommend this rinse so far because of what the water looks like <clears throat> i'm so sorry i have a cough i'm just trying to make content and it's so terrible Me too. i just wish i had a very clear picture of how the watercolor looks right now but i'm sure you can tell from this angle uh how much the watercolor has changed so i'm gonna go ahead after this drain the water and then i'll shampoo her hair and that's it so we put in fresh clean water and then we're going to shampoo the hair quickly and so far it looks so good but you can tell even the color from the apple cider is kind of clouding this. So we just need to give the hair a quick shampoo and then that will be the end of the apple cider rinse detox. So this is after the apple cider detox or vinegar rinse, apple cider vinegar rinse. The hair does look clean and I'm going to show you the back, uh, especially with the locks that I was worried about. The hair also feels much softer. So I would really recommend this apple cider vinegar rinse. If you're starting off with locks and braid locks and then these are the braid locks from behind and guys guys honestly speaking they are clean they are pretty much clean so whatever I was worried about is pretty much gone as you can see they were really in there like and you can see that's really clean right I'm not even joking like Wow 
so i would really recommend this here's another one they mostly had like white stuff in between and they are all gone so uh apple cider vinegar rinse is quite important because i am really amazed and all we're gonna do now is add oil and then next time i'll just do a quick interlock and show you guys exactly how they look when they've been just locked and nine month update is coming up soon so don't miss that video so is it important to do an apple cider vinegar rinse yes it is if you're braid locked and this is your first time and you're wondering how to clean your locks this is one way of recommending that you clean with apple cider vinegar rinse not every time but at least once in a year or at least twice or once but we've only done it once because she's almost nine months so maybe once like i said we are only trying and working with these locks as we go along so i can't really recommend things because we try and error but i would really recommend this apple cider vinegar rinse because we've tried it so if you're new to our channel remember to thumbs up this video and hit that like button oh like button and subscribe to our channel exactly and so that you don't miss videos like this remember to click the notification bell all right see you next time guys bye, bye.